All right, everybody, it's time for another one. You ready? All right, good. Now, I told you before, these were going to get more complicated as we went along. So here we are. Uh, now is not the time to sit down and do nothing. Now is the time to get involved. Let's have a discussion, people. Let's get into it. So this issue, we're going to roll right into it. Stem cell research. What do you think? I honestly know, don't know enough about stem cell research at all. I, I don't know what it's used I mean, I do know what it's used for, but my opinion has not been developed in that. I don't really know much about stem cell research. I know my parents are against it, and so I usually agree with them. <laughs> it's all good. Don't feel bad. This gets really complicated, so we're going to have stem cells 101. What is a stem cell? A cell that can be replicated or can be manipulated to be turned into a different cell completely and duplicated and duplicated and duplicated. There are four different types of stem cells. Embryonic stem cells, embryonic germ cells, umbilical stem cells, and adult stem cells. Adult stem cells can be extracted from the brain, the eyes, blood, the liver, bone marrow, muscle tissue, and your skin. Under President Bill Clinton, the 1996 Dickey Amendment prohibited the use of federal funds for research that would involve the destruction of human embryos. President Bush banned federal funds on embryonic stem cell lines created after 01. Note that it is not against the law to perform research on embryonic stem cells. Okay, where were we? It should be somewhat federally funded as far as getting the ball rolling because there are some states that are so conservative that they will not even allow that to be brought to uh, the public to be voted on as far as uh, what kind of funding goes into it. Uh, but definitely a state level should be uh, uh, enacted, you know, especially Texas is a very conservative state, so I'd definitely like to see some more um, progression. I think that the government should absolutely provide funding for that sort of research. Uh, the government provides funding for things like uh, finding a cure for cancer. I think the cure for cancer um, lies with some sort of stem cell um, research. I don't think that's beneficial to what we need. I don't think that's something we need as of right now. We have bigger things to worry about than stem cell research. I think we need to, first of all, the debt from, from the war, stuff like that, is something we need to be focused on rather than other things that don't have anything to do with, with the common people like us. I think stem cell research should primarily be funded by the federal government. Probably many states out there that, that due to populations and, and wealth, don't have that extra money to be providing or, or allotting towards stem cell research. The benefits totally out, outweigh the, the, you know, the negatives. Uh, I think it's a very common misconception that uh, all stem cells come from, you know, killing babies. I mean, that's absolutely not true. What does Ron Paul think about all of this? That's sort of an academic discussion because uh, it's sort of like uh, we'll pass bills for uh, family planning, but no funds can be used for abortion. But that doesn't have any meaning because if you give funds to an organization or a group that uh, does abortions, funds are fungible. They can be shifted around. So indirectly, United States tax money is used for abortions and stem cell research and all of these things. But if the government was out of uh, the business of funding, uh, no, they, there shouldn't be much to vote on. The only question would be is the use of violence. Uh, I mean, if you, if you take, uh, then it gets into the abortion area. What if they want uh, stem cells and they deliberately uh, uh, do abortions in order to achieve getting stem cells? Well, then the question is, is that individual killing a live human being in order to get it? So I would draw my line on, are you committing violence in order to get the stem cells? But stem cell research, when it's done privately, uh, there, there should be a pretty open door uh, for that, and we shouldn't be over-regulating it unless it's the taking of a human life uh, in an unnecessary way. Stem cell research is very, very important. I think there should be some. Adult stem cells are, uh, are available in all different ways, and uh, there's some very, very uh, uh, complicated uh, methods of getting stem cells. And I I believe that the more complicated an issue is, the more our system of government should be used. That is, 
don't have a court ruling and don't have a Congress making these decisions, not allowing the president to have an executive order to make these decisions. The more local, the better. I do know as a physician, it's very, very important. And uh, there's a lot of ways that that can be done and still be strongly uh, pro-life. That's what Ron Paul thinks about the stem cell issue. But what do you think about it? Get involved. Go to kaylaru.org slash docubloggers. Let me know. Leave a text comment. If you have a webcam like this, do a webcam video. Just might use it in the next piece. And for the next piece, a little teaser. It will be about gay marriage. So if you want to get involved, you want to get on TV, make a webcam video about where you stand on gay marriage, where you think the state and federal government should stand on it, and I will put it in the next piece. So until next time, we will have more from Ron Paul and the whole gay marriage debate. Become a DocuBlogger. Log on to DocuBloggers.org to share your opinions and story ideas, or get out your camera and create your own DocuBlog.